period, not just in the object. I think the real revolution comes when you embrace the kind of technology that iPads bring with it. It's learning at any time, any place. And I think in some ways it's going to be a real challenge to teachers. The K constant is 0.693 or the log of 2. We've been looking for a while at a device that we really thought could transform teaching and learning. And the iPad just seemed to us to offer an awful lot of possibilities. It very much tapped into the, the cool factor with students that they all wanted one. Um, and we just felt the integration was almost seamless. Schools, academies, colleges actually needed help and support in actually deploying these devices and integrating into the curriculum. Okay, so let, me, uh, let me get on that straight away. So we'll actually help the school set the vision from the outset and work through a sustainable plan all the way through to actually helping and utilising the devices in the classroom. We discussed it a lot with all sorts of stakeholders teachers, with students, with the governors and particularly with the parents focus group. They highlighted a couple of issues to do with security that we addressed but the big thing was they really supported the project. With the technology now we perhaps will have a number of flip lessons where actually I provide the young people via their iPad that they can access at home anywhere they are on the bus in the shopping centre where they're preparing for my lesson, doing the reading, watching a short video of me explaining some before they come to the lesson. So therefore, when we come to the lesson, I don't focus on the knowledge. What I focus on is the understanding. And then I can personalize that learning. So we're using things like Edmodo and the VLE as a way to set uh, and return and mark homework to students. We're using Dropbox and iBooks as a way to manage study materials. And the third big area is assessment for learning. We've been using tools like Socrative as a, a really quick uh, entrance and exit ticket quiz. And we've been using apps like Explain Everything and Educrations as mini whiteboards. It's through this method that um, you, you remember things more, especially when you get humiliated by yourself because you made a, a bit of a, well, <laughs> a slightly stupid video. It allows us to communicate with our students and also allows them to have 24-7 access to all of the materials that we share with them. I think you get closer to people as well that you don't really talk to as much as if you have your own textbook, you, it's there. But if you're like, oh, how do you do this? And then they'll come and show you. We pre-populate the iPad with all the materials they need. They can never lose their textbooks, they can never lose their notes. So it's a different kind of culture and thinking that this small tablet can have such an impact on their learning. People work at different paces, so it's a lot better just have your own and you don't have to wait for the people, so you're learning more as well. It needs a lot of enthusiasm from staff and ultimately a very strong focus on learning and pedagogy. <laughs> That's the hardest thing to get right, but when schools do, the project will be a massive success. So exciting times, and I do expect over the coming years, that it will be the minority schools who aren't using this kind of technology. Good, successful schools, I think it will just become something that we use on a day-to-day -day basis.